Hello friends, neighbors, John Yewishka neighbor here. Welcome down to the nook. Uh, we're still in March. We're still heading into St. Patrick's Day. So more Irish whiskey coming today. I want to talk about two uh, blends. This one's actually from Diageo, big company, but interesting and pretty affordable. This is called Row & Co. Uh, it, and I'll talk more about it, but it's blended Irish whiskey released at 45%. And then I'll talk about uh, two stacks, this dram in a can. Uh, they're coming into our market. They're new. This is also a blend. Uh, a little more complicated than the blend in this one, but we'll talk about the details. So if you've got any Irish, any blended Irish, why don't you pour a dram and come back. We'll talk about uh, Row & Co. and two stacks. Three, four. So thanks for coming back and joining me to talk a little bit about blended Irish whiskey. This is, uh, said we'll start with uh, with Rowan Co. It's it's from Diageo, huge company, right? But uh, it's it's still kind of interesting. It's got a unique bottle shape that is apparently fashioned after um, the distillery that it's named after. The uh, George Rowan Co. used to be the biggest uh, Irish distillery, uh, and then. Uh, it was blended by Carolyn Martin, I believe, is the master blender at Diageo, and it's um, you know it's a it's a blend of malt and grain whiskeys. They talk about being aged. Some sites it said you know first fill ex bourbon or maybe individually you know the malt and the grain were blended in first uh, aged and first filled and they were blended and married in second fill. It's a bit confusing, but certainly ex bourbon, certainly uh, you know some malt and some grain whiskeys. What's nice is it says right on here, non-chill filtered, and they're kicking it out at 45%. So, you know, that's pretty interesting to me. And in my market, it's actually very affordable and clearly on sale now they're heading into St. Patrick's Day. So let's talk about Rowan Co. Nose, taste, we'll just see what I get. I get a lot of caramel, sweetness, if the fruit, it's just kind of a, kind of a little bit of orchard. Actually, I get, you know, I've heard, uh, read, I haven't heard, but I've read that they aimed this at the North American market. I could get that because, you know, the 45%, a lot of bourbons are 45, so a little bit more backbone. And I am getting a fair amount of ex-bourbon, you know, vanilla and caramel on the nose. Quite a bit. Let's try the palate. Slancha. Pretty good in the palate. A little bit, of, little bit of ginger, some cinnamon mixed in with some cut apple. Maybe some honey sweetness, more of that caramel. Better try another sip. A little bit of oak on the back end. It's a little bit aggressive. The more I sip it, it, it the spicing comes up, but it feels like heat spicing more than the cinnamon and ginger that I got at first. I thought, oh, it's going to be interesting. Um, but it gets a little bit rough for me when I sip it. But it's actually got some good flavors. And oh yeah, it even has a little picture of the of the tower that they kind of shaped the bottle after right by the pear tree. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I actually like this. It kind of fits my palate well. Um, I don't know if it's a great example of 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 a lot of Irish blends, it's a little more aggressive, uh, a little spicier, and um, I I kind of like it though. So certainly, uh, I think right now in my market somewhere, I don't know, it's it's on offer, of course, and uh, and for the pricing that it is in my market, it's definitely a nice blend. I hear it was put together with uh, you know the master blender Carolyn and and then five bartenders from Dublin or something like that, and and so. I haven't done any mixing with it, but I hear that it mixes really well. That a lot of the flavors that we get in there really carry through in certain cocktails. So that's yeah, pretty good. Um, for me, I like it. It fits my palate. Um, easy three and a half star. Okay, this next one. Uh, this from Two Stacks. Uh, you know, this this reminds me of a podcast I just heard. Uh, the Lost in Dramslation podcast put out by Steve, John, John. Travis, uh, you know, those guys are 
awesome. And you definitely need to subscribe to their podcast. And they just went through like 10 Irish whiskeys and, and they have some powerful opinions. In fact, it makes me a little, little gun shy after listening to that to give my opinion because uh, those guys know what they're talking about. But a few of them put together um, an import company that have been bringing in some pretty good whiskey. And Two Sacks is one of them. And this, this can has just some pretty interesting blends. It's got, um, but it's got some dark grain that I think was in virgin oak. It's got some light grain that was in ex bourbon. It's got, I think the malt was in uh, Oloroso. It's on the back of the can. I better look. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, the the malt was in Oloroso. No, it's not malt. Sorry, pot still was in Oloroso. Uh, and then they have a double malt aged in bourbon and a 2% peated malt aged in bourbon. So mostly bourbon, but 40% dark grain in virgin oak and 8% uh, pot still in uh, Oloroso. So a lot of different things going on in this, in this uh, mix. And of course you can get it in this fun can. Uh, so I hear that their, their bottle releases are coming soon. So two stacks on the nose. Ah, that is interesting. It's actually a little sweeter, a little more um, pear. Yeah, a little more fruit bouquet than uh, than the Ronco. Now coming back, this is solidly in uh, a little bit of vanilla, sweet caramel. Mm, definitely a little more malt sugars. That, like it's, uh, and the fruit is, as I said, pear. So for me, that's a little bit uh, sweeter than a cut apple. Let's try it on the palate. Slancha. Hmm. That is a lovely dram. And my hmm was that um, I didn't think I would catch much of that 2% peated malt. For my palate, it was almost immediately what I felt. I felt some creaminess. Oh, I should say, this is natural color and non-chill filtered. This for sure is colored, but it was non-chill filtered. Um, this is a little creamier, but where I was going with that peated malt is a little more earthy or, or, or fullness. And I would also say, you know, the pot still, it only says 8%, which isn't a lot, but there's a little bit of, for me, pot still gives gives a little bit of, of, of nuttiness or, um, uh, not not graininess, it's not it, but there's a huskiness to pot still for me. Ah, the nose is evolving. Much uh, fuller, earthier, a um, little smolder, a little more... Um, a little more oak, a little darker oak for some reason, like a little musty. Maybe that's that Oloroso, maybe. Richer for me. Actually, quite a surprise. Really liking this. Um, I think this is far more layered, far more complex than this. Now, so that, I, I would even, i go so far as to say this is a, a four star, certainly for the in the can, maybe three and three quarter. But quite a nice whiskey lots and lots of layers so here's two irish that are you know as we move just off did i did i do a lot of on the floor no i did the busker and i didn't do a lot of you know kind of hey let's get going tell them do and and jameson and whatnot and i should have but i don't have any bottles open and I, I didn't really want to bring a full bottle home of those these are totally affordable but they are you know kind of moving into that a little more right this is a Kind of the, the, the ballpark that we're going to see some, some better quality blends in. And they deliver. These are pretty good. Thanks for joining me here. And as I said, if you haven't heard these guys in Lost and Revelation, you got to go out there. You got to find them. They're on all the podcasts, Apple or whatever. And they, they have too much fun. And they have a lot of insight because they obviously work with the, the distillers and the people where they're going to consider bringing in their whiskey. So they have some pretty good insight into how whiskey is being put together. Thanks for joining me here. Um, I may shoot another one today even because I've got a few open bottles of Irish and I'm running out of time. But if not, thanks for joining me and I hope you guys have just a fantastic weekend. Good week ahead.